blessing that I have uh, been given the gift of longevity in comparison to so many people of my age. I'm going to be 84 in uh, January next month. And virtually, at least in the civil rights movement, just for example, only about three or four people uh, are alive today that played any significant leadership role. There are lots of people alive today who were involved in the civil rights movement, but you know, but not many of them alive today who were really in a leadership role. And and I, of course, was blessed by spending seven of the most extraordinary years with uh, what I call the 20th century's preeminent apostle of nonviolence, love, and the commitment to the pursuit of excellence, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Yeah. But that's only seven years of my life, but a very important seven years of my life. And it has, and that period from 1960 to 19, April 4th, 1968, uh, has left a very powerful imprint on how I look at things and how I hear things. You know, it's unavoidable. Even though there are many things that I saw and many things that I heard after his uh, assassination that had nothing to do with him. But they impacted how I interpreted him based upon my experience with him.